Apple is releasing OS X Mavericks pretty soon, and that means we've got a bunch of features to take a look at, and while it's not quite as many features as you'd expect from a big operating system update, there are a few handy little things. The first thing you'll probably notice is the new tagging system, which happens in Finder, and it's a system so you can easily find any files you're looking for. You can do that right from the sidebar by just clicking any of your tabs. Likewise, you can add a tag to a file simply by right-clicking and heading into the tags type anything you want there and it'll show up in the tags menu so you can find what you're looking for here you can also edit and move those around rename them remove them or delete them entirely and you can search for those tags within spotlight or directly from the finder window so if you type in what you want it'll show up the file you're looking for pretty self-explanatory but it does make finding stuff pretty easy likewise whenever you create a new document you can do that as well so Let's make a new document here in text edit, and when we save it, we'll see a option to add tags here as well. So moving forward, you'll be able to easily add tags to any file you have. So it's another way to organize things, make it easier to find without dealing with folders and all that kind of stuff. Likewise in Finder, you also get a new tab browsing menu. So if you simply hit Command T, you can grab a new tab just like you would in your browser and you can get as many as you like, move them around, works just like it would in Safari or Chrome or any web browser. Multiple displays also get an update, so now your menu bar and dock appear on both screens and the multiple display mode now better supports full screen apps. All in all, it should be a much more fluid experience with multiple displays in Mavericks, makes things a little bit easier to use and a little bit more intuitive as well. Uh, primary apps also get a bit of an overhaul. Calendar is probably the biggest one. As you'll see, it loses the leather-bound look of before, and it kind of looks a lot like iOS 7 does now. In that, you get a new inspector view. So when you click on anything, you'll get a full map of everything. You'll also get driving directions, as well as an estimate, a time estimate on how long it'll take you to get there. So if you use that calendar, it's a handy group of enhancements. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward to use. You also get two new apps, Maps and iBooks. Maps works pretty much the same as it does on iOS, where you can take a look at the map of any area. You can look at it in different views with hybrid and satellite views and everything else. Uh, likewise, you can also search for anything in any area, uh, just like you would in iOS. So you can take a look for any cupcake stands in the immediate area around you. Uh, you can also get traffic info and everything else. The probably coolest feature here is you can send anything to your iPhone or iPad directly from here, just clicking the share menu and sending it over to that, and it'll just zoom it off to your phone or whatever device you select. We also get a new iBooks app. As you'd imagine, you can read any book you've downloaded from the App Store here. You can also shop the store or make notes, which is handy for college students. So if you want to type anything, you can just open up the book get your menu set up and start making notes right there. Simple as that. Uh, all those notes are synced across devices uh, from your iPad to your iPhone or anywhere else you have iBooks installed. Finally, notifications get a handy little reply instantly feature and any notification that's a message you can just hit reply and start typing your reply right there without any need to open up the app in question.